Okay. Hello, this is Michaela of Studious Octopus, and I'm here doing the October 2015 UK Glossy Box unboxing. So it's just arrived in the post. I'm just going to rip it open and throw that over there. Sadly, this is a regular edition pink box. I was kind of hoping it would be a Halloween box, but I think the maybe more wary of uh, doing a Halloween one because maybe not as many people like Halloween. I don't know, but I would have loved a Halloween box and some Halloween stuff inside. Uh, one of the other things we had on top was just an offer for a clothing thing, but I tend not to particularly do these. Let's open it up. So that's it all wrapped up. So this is the box contents inside here. You can get a good look at that. And weirdly enough, this month I don't actually have a product card, so I can't actually read off that card, nor can I give you prices as I'm saying them. But what I'm going to have is the prices in the corner, which I will find out afterwards, and then I add those notes in post. Same as when I have the cut, when I tell you that I've worked out how much it is, I will just go online and find out how much everything was. So that's a bit weird. I don't have a product card. I assume I just missed having mine. So I'll just grab each item as I come to it. I'm just going to go for this big one on top. This is Lana Lips Intense Hydration and Protection for Extremely Dry, Rough and Unhappy Skin. So this says it's a intense golden ointment with 60% lanolin and manuka honey. It's a super moisturizer and a skin protectant. This comes in a very nice box. I think lanolin is that sort of natural oil that some animals produce. That is what makes them waterproof. But it's a one of the things that is used in moisturizers is a water barrier. So things can't evaporate, your water can't evaporate through your skin, so your skin retains its moisture. Uh, and this is by a lady called Kristen Carriol. She founded the company. And yes, it says on the back here, discover a miracle in a tube proven to last for over 48 hours. Our intensive skin ointment is a rich blend of the purest grade lanolin, manuka honey and vitamin E combining to intensively hydrate and form a natural moisture barrier for your skin. That sounds really good. So I'm assuming this might be full size, but it will say on the top corner. And this is 50 grams. And yes, it also says it's paraben free, petroleum free, mineral oil free and sulfate free. So this is the tube that you get. It comes safety sealed with a little metal safety seal there, which I'm just going to peel off. Peel off. Oh gosh, it's quite hard to squeeze, but that makes sense. So that is it there. And it's a quite shiny, creamy looking yellowish uh, cream. Let's have a go of this. I'm just going to use this right now on my um, hands. It feels very firm and very tacky. It's almost like uh, if you've used beeswax before, which you can use for your hair. It feels like that. And yes, it does smell actually not too much like lanolin, which can be quite a strong smell, which is possibly it, it doesn't smell as much if it's a higher grade. But you also get the very faint smell of honey. But it also isn't particularly strong, so it's relatively um, mild smelling, mild, sweet, nice smell. So it suggests to just use it as an overnight cream. You can use it on dry feet, dry legs, dry hands. So it's a lovely, really rich general purpose moisturizer. It just says use it wherever you need it and it's a nice size and it's a really really heavy duty consistency so i can see why it says it lasts for 48 hours and it's quite cutely packaged cute packaging and yes my hands feel nice a little residue -y, but not as worse actually as some cheap uh, hand moisturizers that i've used 
Mm, that's quite nice. Okay, let's move on. The next thing is this Tilica. Tilica. However you say these. This is the Photo Hydra HD. I'm trying to get the name at the top there. Oh, these things are very reflective with my light. And I think this is what we had our um, sneak peek of last time. So this is a space. Uh, the this is a face specific hydration. It's much more than a moisturizer. Photo Hydra Day is the first cream to use energy from natural light to delve deep into skin and moisturize it. And it says apply in the morning to a thoroughly cleansed face, neck, and decollete. And it's this is our French skincare. And this is 30 millilitres, but like I said, I don't know if this is full size. So this sounds like it's a sort of a moisturising day cream. You use it in the morning and it might also have a, a sort of a certain, it might work a bit like a primer as well. But it's saying that it is photohydra. See in the ingredients, we've got lots of things that look like what we'd expect. There's some mango seed butter in there. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, this also comes safety sealed. Pull that off. Hmm. Get the feeling this is going to be one of those products like the lollipop lip one, where this isn't anywhere near as full as the package look makes it look like it is. But anyway. That's some of the product there in my hand. It's a light white cream. It's slightly pearlescent looking, which is why I'm assuming it has the light quality. It's not as thick as that um, Lana Lips that I just put on, but that does not surprise me. Ah, my friend, she loves to get in the way. Anyway, so that had a really lovely, quite light feel on the skin. Uh, it sort of had the um, same feel as a lot of the other French skincare we had in the French skincare box, where it kind of just seems to melt away into your skin. So it does actually feel really lovely. And uh, from my experience with that French box as well, the French skincare products were actually really good. I imagine this is pricey, but I'll have the price breakdown in the corner there. So that was the Tilica Photo Hydra Day Day Cream or Day Moisturizer. And it felt very nice. It has sort of a, again, a really, really mild, but specifically sort of cosmetic type smell. But uh, not very strong if that sort of thing bothers you. So we have a couple of smaller items here. I'll do these two. This is the So Susan hot light white with white truffle extract highlighting pencil the text on this box is actually not fantastically printed it's kind of hard to make out so this is a oh there we go a universally flattering ivory cream crayon that brings your best features to light blend into brow bones cheekbones and dark circles to instantly give your skin clarity and radiance. Glide down the center of your nose and onto your cupid's bow for a multi-dimensional sculpted look. Use also as a shadow base for colors that last. Made with white truffle extract and eye serial peptide to help reduce eye bags and increase skin elasticity. So this, like most So Susan stuff, because we've had So Susan before in Glossy Box, this is paraben-free, hypoallergenic, non comogenetic which means it doesn't uh, sit in your pores, safe for contact lens wearers, and it has no phthalates. I don't know what half of those mean, like most things. It says it's free from stuff. You take that to mean that that's good. <laughs> So yes, by the sounds of it, this is a, a white multi-use pencil to use as a highlighter, to use as a white eyeliner, to use as a base for eyeshadow. But the idea with most So Susan stuff, like we've had before, is that the ingredients are good for you. There we go, so it's a dinky little pencil. Comes with a clear plastic lid. I'm going to see how well this draws. Oh, there we go, that looks quite good. 
So you can see it there. I don't know how well that's going to show up on my quite pale skin, but it's this chunk here, and it's quite a soft, quite a creamy uh, eye pencil, but it's come out on there very evenly, very nice. It doesn't have any smell beyond smelling like a pencil. Uh, yeah, that looks quite nice. I'll be interested, actually, I think, to try it as a base for an eyeshadow, maybe more than anything else, because that actually sounds like a really good idea. And as you can see, with it blending so much into my hand, that like a lot of things that are designed to highlight, so this is kind of too close to my own skin colour to highlight for me, but I can use that as a white eye pencil. I can use it, as it says, on under eye circles and as a base for eyeshadow more than highlighting. But this sounds nice. I've had, like I've said, we've had So Susan before. It's a nice enough brand. Not super expensive, but nice. Let's keep packaging as well. So that's that one. And the next thing is the Jelly Pong Pong Fairy Lashes Mascara. Jelly Pong Pong is actually an offshoot, off, offshoot sister brand type thing of So Susan. So in a lot of ways, this is actually the same company, which is a bit strange, but uh, we've had a So Susan Mascara before, which was actually sadly quite disappointing, but we'll see. So this is a sculpting curling mascara that continually curls lashes throughout the day with a proprietary, proprietary moringa seed resin that dries down and holds the curl of lashes for long lasting the long-lasting results. The unique brush instantly creates dramatic volume and intense definition. Suitable for contact lens wearers. And yes, this also says on the back, it's no mineral oils, no pathylates, fragrance-free, moringa seed resin, hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic. -com doesn't sit on your paws. That isn't an issue for something that sits on your eyelashes, but there we go. So yes, this is the Jelly Pong Pong Fairy Lash Mascara. It's the little box there. Let's open it up. Oh, it's really squeezed in here. There we go. Just put that down there just to see. This says it is also eight millilitres. So there it is there. It's possibly slightly smaller in height than I think a lot of mascaras are now, but it's chunky. It's quite fat. It has a nice hand feel. I'm just going to open it up now. And yes, this has a actually a more old-fashioned traditional style mascara around where it's the thick sort of fibrous old style hairbrush style rather than the newer sort of soft rubbery silicon style. And yes, it's a very black formula. We'll have to see how that goes. But yes, the um, the So Susan mascara that we had, the problem with it, while it was a lovely, thick, glossy black formula, and it also said that it was good for your eyes, is it took a million years to dry on the eyelashes. So you got it on your upper lids and your lower lids constantly as it was drying, simply because, you know, you're not going to keep your eyes still for the 10, 20 minutes that it takes for it to dry. And that is actually a long time for any mascara to dry. But hopefully this will be okay. It looks cute though. And it sounds like it's good for your eyes. So there we go. That is the Jelly Pong Pong Fairy Lash Mascara. And the last item we have in here is a Nika K New York Professional Airbrush FX Blending Sponge. Uh, again, we've had the Nika K brand before. We got a br blush from them. This is a mini style um, blending sponge. It does actually feel very good. I do own the the Real Techniques blending sponge and generally what most people say about these is the the Real Techniques on the Beauty Blender they're the ones really worth having because they're the right texture whereas a lot of the cheaper knockoff ones that are just made of like normal sponge material they'll work enough as a makeup sponge but they're not comparable to those two but this has a similar texture it has that really dense core feel but the outside is soft enough has an interesting shape. Let's see if the box says 
So it says damp and sponge with water until it swells in size, which is pretty standard. And squeeze out the excess, dip it into the product and gently pat onto the skin. Use the point tip for hard to reach areas. Let them clean as needed. Yes, so this is just a little makeup sponge. This is smaller than the Real Techniques and the Beauty Blender one, so it will probably be more useful for those small items like around your nose and around your eyes. But it's nice to have a fresh one. My Real Techniques one is a little old and it's still cleaning fine, but it does actually have a teeny tiny tear on them, so they don't actually last forever. So obviously it's nice to have new things. And I'm assuming this is just a one size. And again, I'll have the price breakdown in the corner. There we go. That is a Scudgy makeup sponge, which does at least feel like the right texture. So I'm convinced, easily enough convinced to say that it's probably going to be all right. It doesn't feel like a normal sponge sold as a beauty sponge. But there we go. So there's the box again with all the contents unboxed. I'm going to go away now and try and find some prices, which hopefully won't take too long. So I'll see you again in a minute. Okay, hello, and we're back. So uh, the total box value for this box is actually very high. I did look first on the Glossy Box website for the October box. It says it's five full-size items, so they're all full-size, and a minimum box value of £62. Mine is actually much higher than that, but I'll do quickly go through it. So the Lanolux is £17.99. The Tilica is £27. The So Susan pencil is £14.95. The Jelly Pong Pong mascara is £17.95. And the Nika K uh, blending sponge is the only one I had to convert. It's available on their website for $5.99. I've converted that into £3.90. So it is actually quite a, beauty, a budget one. Adding mine all up together, my total box value actually came to £81.79, which is very, very high for a box from Glossy Box. This is, I know right away, the highest box value that I've ever had. Uh, but with there being a minimum guaranteed value of £62, I assume some people didn't get a box that was quite this pricey. So a lot of the price is, as usual, to do with having very high value items. These two are the highest value in the box. Together, these already make the box more than £40 for just two small tubes. And obviously, as I say, it depends if you consider these products worth that much money. Would you ever really buy them for that much money? Uh, to, as to whether it feels like £80 worth of value. But I got £80 worth of value in my glossy box this month. This is the most expensive glossy box I've ever had. It is actually, I think, still feel really good to get something that's worth so much on the cost of your subscription, which is only £13.25, because you also pay shipping. Uh, but yeah, so that was very interesting. I do think I'm pretty happy. I'll be interesting to see how it all works. I also quite like that it's, again, a quite understated box, I guess is the word you go for. It's focusing a lot on skincare, and we've got some really simple makeup items, which is nice. This is a very high value, very premium feeling box. Uh, though, yes, as I mentioned, I think in a lot of ways I'd feel more excited about a Halloween box. If it had limited edition Halloween packaging, we could have had some Halloween false eyelashes. I know they do those. Those are super cute. Something to do with nails, even like some relatively nice face paints could have been a good idea for the time of year and had makeup looks that people could have done with them. But this is still a really, really lovely box. I just think Glossy Box maybe missed out on the opportunity to do a cool Halloween box. And I'll see you again next time.